welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Cisco. So this is one of these gaps where I didn't want to do both an option and a day trade. I'm glad I did it. So we did a day trade in this. I got in, got out, boom, it was done. And I didn't call a call on it. Why? I really didn't have 100% conviction it was follow through higher. Now, if it does, maybe I can do one later, but I don't want to go after this today with a vengeance. So let's take a look at it. So anyways, stock closed down here the night before 45.43, gapped up in the morning, opened up 48.75. We did it, rallied, boom, we had a good, good exit in it, in my opinion. So the high for the day, 50.28, and I said 50, and we got a flurry through 50. And, uh, yeah. I think this is it for the day for this. I mean, 10.45. Very interesting, though. Anyway, Cisco had earnings. Sometimes I look at what they say, sometimes I don't. I really just look at the gap. But I did happen to glance at this, and guess what? They're laying off 7% of their workforce. You say, well, it's up a lot, and they're laying people off. Hmm. So it just goes to show you, you can look, you can have a positive reaction and negative news, which was a gap up. And you can have, again, vice versa to the downside. So I looked at the gap. I thought it was a good gap to go along as a day trade. But again, I don't do the same trade in everything as a day trade in options. So I'm actually glad I did not do calls in this because I would be down in this if I had done the calls. But it was a good, quick, fast day trade. And we'll see where it goes. And watching the market as well. Have a great day, everyone.